between, you know, coming back, knocking them out, I knew those two downs, the two rounds, um, and then that crowd, man, uh, the, the uh, drilling was going through me so uh, so much. It was just crazy. Me and Buckles worked on that cage, um, the combos to the straight to the combo to the kick when he runs off the cage. We worked that probably for you know two months of that same combo. So when uh, when it happened, I mean, obviously when a plan works like that, it's even so, uh, even a better feeling for him. Well, all we knew we were down two rounds. Um, we, we knew we had to finish. I mean, they didn't give me specific instructions about it. They told me to do that step kick that we kind of worked on and just say, hey, you know, we got to finish here, stay on them, keep pushing. And uh, going in there, I had the mentality that I was going to go for broke. I mean, obviously I knew I was getting my ass kicked. I'm bleeding everywhere. But I knew I wasn't done yet. My head was still clear. And, uh, you know, I went for that guillotine, and then I went for that knee bar, and then I transitioned, got on top of them, and, you know, it just worked out. I knocked them out. But, I mean, obviously you tell them that I was going for broke. I knew I needed to finish, and that's what I was going for. I got some areas I need to still clean up. Um, I, you know, my stand-up needs to get a little bit better. I'm making improvements. And my routing defense, and it's always tough. I mean, yeah, he is. I didn't have the greatest fight. I had some good areas, but I'm gonna go back, look at the more of the tape, and uh, make uh, some adjustments. I mean, I'm not totally happy with the fight because um, I obviously was losing the first two rounds that bad, and I don't like that feeling. Mm-hmm. But I mean, obviously, when it comes to guts, when it comes to fucking pure balls. I mean, I'm always there, and, and I have a chin. You can't just put me away if I'm. If you don't put me away, I'm always in a fight. That's always the thing. 